Welcome back, everybody. This is Sean Renzo Head, and today I bought an eBay flute. And so today we're going to go over it and review it um, because some people said um, they wanted to know, like, well, well, what are some of the problems of an eBay flute? And I said, well, not all eBay flutes are bad, but you can. This is the risk that you're going to run. So this one is from eBay. It's four hundred dollars. Um, I'm not going to say where it's from, um, but it's not Japanese. This is by somebody else who made it, uh, and there is just a plethora of problems in here. And basically what I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you is that this flute is not usable for, for anybody, for any purpose, other than, uh, well, I guess experimental. If you like, there is one sound that's kind of cool on this flute. So um, first, let's just go over some of the, um, the physical things of the flute. I'm trying to cover the honko so you guys can't see it. Um, the, this, Naka, this, this joint here is, um, has some problems because this is kind of strange that it's not, um, all the way through this should, this should be like a connect, this should go more further down. So that's a little bit strange. So let's open it up really, really stiff there. Um, yeah, so this opening here, if you look, that's really, really thin. This right here, that's brittle. That that's gonna break in the future. That's gonna crack, no problem, and uh, <laughs> that's not gonna be a pretty sight. And the inside of the flute, I have no idea if you're gonna be able to see that or not. Yeah, you see how like that's really really chunky. So you want it to be smooth. It's really just not good bore work at all. So that that needs a lot of. TLC. It's very thick too. Way too much lacquer. This top piece is plastic. That's not a problem. This is the wrong size. So actually, this putting this together is the wrong size, and it also it doesn't close all the way, which causes a lot more problems too. Huh. This is already coming undone. And there's a crack right above the of the, the third hole. Okay, time for a sound check. So I can already tell right away that it's not. There's no good. It's the the. There's not any core sound to the instrument. And there's some vibrating happening there as well. Here's the cool sound. Yeah, so there's no row either. But it is a really cool sound. That surprisingly works. And then there's that other, uh, another one of those same things with row, and that's just because the inside of this is just really messed up. If you look, the nodes, like it, the hole is right on top of a node, and this one is right like next to one, and this is too low. I mean, it, this thing just needs a lot of work. Um, now here's the thing. The reason why I'm so um, like cautious about having my students buy uh, flutes on eBay is that this cannot be returned. That was part of the deal with this. When you buy it, there are no returns. So and now you're out of the money. So you're out of 400 bucks, and you have to go buy a different flute because this one's not usable. I, you can't use this for a lesson. If one of my students brought this in, I would say we got to change to something else because you have no row. And this is the, this is the most important thing. This is the beginning of every lesson. <laughs> If that basic thing you can't do because row is designed, it's, it's the most important note to practice. And if you can't do it, this is not a shakuhachi. So just be careful, everybody, when you buy flutes. Make sure that there is a possibility to return it. And um, yeah, if you ever have any questions about this stuff, make sure you find somebody local that uh, that that knows something about shakuhachi, or even just have like send me a message. Send somebody a message about. Um, what do you think about this flute? And then that that professional can say, 
I would steer away from it. I wouldn't get that. Uh, this I would rather say, I would say get this one instead. So um, that is an eBay flute. Not all of them are like that, but uh, you will run the risk of getting something like that if you're not careful. So uh, happy hunting. <laughs>